Welcome to the Undertale tutorial. This high level witch strat does have a repetition for some players, but there have been setups found to make it more consistent. It's definitely one of the least bad, I would call, name strats in this chapter, but um, that is not difficult. There are two main ways to do it, and you can and probably should mix and mash between the two versions to find whatever is more comfortable for you. With the slowest way you can do the strat, it saves 0.2, while the fastest way can save up to 0.8, compared to going over. This however will always depend on your execution, so please check what it saves for you after learning the strat. So let's start with the slowest way. Normal upright then climb jump into the ceiling, then either use the time medal and moves to release crab and hold left and wall kick so you don't lose height by releasing crab blade, or just hold right after getting into the ceiling and wall kick, but then you want to immediately hold left after the jump. Turning around after a wall kick is a 12 frame window, as the first frames don't affect metal and speed, so it's not that tight but this can still be pretty awkward. Also, this is not a neutral jump. A neutral jump does not line up the strat properly. Anyway, make sure to hold jump and grab this wall. I would say that trying to look or line up a pixel is absolutely not worth it for how little the strat saves, so please never do that. Now hold right and then you can wall kick and buffer jump with your second jump button as you approach the corner. Because of the wind pushing you away, this jump timing might feel awkward, but with practice anything is possible. Then you can hold towards the wall and climb jump once and wall kick into the bubble. Now for the fast way. The first bit is pretty much the same. Try to aim for a turn around climb jump and then after getting into the ceiling, wall kick away from the wall. Here's where it changes. Instead of grabbing the wall after the first wall kick, you want to buffer a jump with your second jump button while holding into the wall. Remember that the first 12 frames after wall kicking don't affect your horizontal speed. So make sure to switch to right until after your jump has come out. Then instead of wall kicking again, you can aim to go for a turnaround climb jump after getting past the corner. While the strat's smallest frame window can be a 4 frame, which is pretty big for Celeste's standards, the set of inputs can be pretty awkward. You will see even top runners mix and mash the different setups to whatever they find comfortable. So definitely try and experiment with the different ways you can do the strat. With that said, good luck learning the strat and see ya!